It's time for another Double Shot, a serious health edition of the Double Shot. You have an announcement today. You no, went on WebMD. He had some pain in his kidney. Well, and now he told he was told via WebMD he has brain cancer, HIV, and what? I didn't know we were going to talk about this because there's HIPAA laws mm -hmm. about whether or not you're able to. Me. They don't apply to you. No. All right. I am having some sort of. Maybe the listeners can help me diagnose this. They're viewers. I don't, this is not radio. This is video. Wait, is this on video? Yeah, that's what. There's uh, a camera. I don't know if our viewers are able to see this, but I have like an extreme pain in my right side. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Uh, where I, the kidney is located. Is that the kidney? Isn't that where the kidney is? It's kidney-ish adjacent. It's certainly kidney adjacent. All weekend, I've just been kind of grinning and bearing it and assuming it's, it's because- It's a sharp pain. It's a pretty prominent pain. And I've been thinking maybe I picked up a kid too quickly. Mm -hmm. Maybe I was, you know, we were just out of town this weekend and I had to move a bunch of luggage. So I'm like, oh, maybe I overdid it. Not pulled something. I pulled something. I assumed I pulled something. But it's not just in my back. It's literally the entire right side. And it seems to be traveling closer and closer to my midsection, which is where you don't want pain to travel to. Well, especially in that, starting in that region, because you're thinking- I was thinking stone. it might be a kidney stone. My dad had one of these when he was in his late forties and I called him and he goes, I don't know, it might not be pretty, it's a pretty sharp pain. I'm like, ah, I feel pretty sharp pain. He goes, and it kind of migrates. I'm like, ah, it's kind of oh, migrating. Gosh. And I'm a young man, I shouldn't be having kidney stones yet. No. And I'm just like, I'm kind of sweating. I'm not peeing blood or anything right now. So I feel like that's a good sign. <laughs> that's never a good sign I don't, peeing blood. I don't know what it is, but I hope that I'm with you again next time that we do a video. I mean, if I'm being honest, I've already started to interview people to take over for this position. Is so. that what the line of people was? Mm -hmm. Okay. They well, all, they they all look at, so lucky. It's like a casting call. To it, they uh, look exactly like me. There's a bunch of them. The idea for a man to have a kidney stone, yeah. I feel like is the worst. It's the worst fear for any of us. The it's idea the that you're peeing out a little pebble of calcium, whatever it is. It's just cutting you the entire oh way. Oh my God, it oh. sounds so awful and there's it nothing feels, you can do. I don't know if that's what it is. It might be nothing. I might just well, have- something. I might just have a sour tummy. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. A sour tummy. But it's been going on for about 72 hours now. I made a, I made a doctor appointment. I'm gonna did go in. Did you or did your wife force you to? My wife made one. Yeah. My wife made an appointment, but I just find that I, as I'm sitting, I'll just start sweating. And I don't think that's a good sign. And. Uh, well, it's hot in here. We got lights on. Is it hot? No, it's freezing. It feels really hot in here. And uh, the pain, I, I'm having a tough time focusing. Maybe it's a UTI. A urinary tract infection? Maybe I should grab a cranberry juice and mm -hmm. just, you know. Down it. Down it. Does it sting when you pee? Not yet, but you know, there's still time. There's still time. <laughs> well, keep us up to date about your, your urinary habits. You, you know how they get rid of uh, kidney stones? You pee them out. No. You can zap them with a... No, they pulverize them with a... a uh, laser. With a laser. Right, yeah. they well, shoot. they could. It depends. It depends on where it is and how big it is. It depends on where it is and how big it is. But they, they shoot it up and it goes... And it breaks it up. I, but I don't into know how, smaller pieces that still have to pass. But I don't it think just it's... doesn't hurt as much. Yeah, it's not nearly as painful. Yeah. But just the idea of just all of a sudden you're urinating... You're like urinating, a baby. You're urinating and oh. then all of a sudden you're like, oh, this feels good. <laughs> <laughs> then you just scream. And That's what if I mean. it happens here in the office? Yeah, well, you'll know oh, it. Oh my God. You'll know it. know it. Yep. Everyone's gonna rush to see what's happening and you'll be, be on live on my like, show. Right? Could be live well, on the air. Well, you're not gonna pee on the air. Although. No, you're right. I wouldn't. It is a new show, so it could be a nice Could be a good rating. rating. Could be a ratings grab. Yeah, sweeps week. Ooh, okay. We'll Can you hold on until next May? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, we'll see. We'll see you next time. Hey, it's Jason Rance here with Scott Rerucca from Legacy Group Capital. He's their CEO. So Let's talk about someone who wants to invest in real estate. They don't quite know where to go, what to do, where to start, but they do know obviously that right now the market is really, really hot. So you're the place to do it. How do you help? Yeah. So how we help is, you know, we've been investing in the greater Seattle area for over 20 years and we have a, a, a historical track record that is, we're, we're super proud of, um, double digit returns. Uh, over time uh, with no investor losses. And if you can find somebody else out there that's done that, you should probably talk to them. And how we really do it is we're lending on real estate and we're also acquiring real estate and building it and developing it. All those things go come out of a fund that people invest into. So there's lending and there's acquisition. 
and then we share in profits with all of our investors on both those activities. Uh, Jason, most people can't do that on their own. They're not going to go develop properties. They're not going to go be a bank and lend money, but they can jump in with us and they can be that developer and they can be that lender, but it's underneath our umbrella with a 20-year track record that's unparalleled to anything that you'll find out there. We've been told that we're one of the best kept secrets in the Pacific Northwest. I don't want it to be a secret. I want everyone to know just about what it is you do. The Legacy Group Capital family of funds offer short-term 90-day investments at 7%. Longer-term investments, they've averaged double-digit returns. Just go to LegacyG.com. 